you said you, you I think it's your testimony, you had no idea who she was. I still don't. Well, today you at least know that she's a plaintiff in a case suing you, correct? Oh, yes, that I know. Okay. But I know nothing about her. I think she's sick, mentally sick. Okay. Um, you say in this post, you use a strange word which I want to ask you about. You say she completely made up a story that I met her at the doors of this crowded New York City department store and within minutes swooned her. Do you see that? Yeah. What does swoon her mean? Uh, that would be a word, maybe accurate or not, having to do with uh, talking to her and talking to her to do an act that she said happened, which didn't happen. And it's a nicer word than the word that starts with an F. And this would be a word that I used because I thought it would be inappropriate to use the other word. Um, and it didn't happen. Okay, I, I was curious when I read this, so I looked up the word swoon in the dictionary. And under the dictionary, it means to faint with extreme emotion. That's not what you meant here. Objection to form. Uh, well, sort of. That's what she said I did to her. She fainted with great emotion. She actually indicated that she loved it. Okay, she loved it until commercial break. In fact, I think she said it was sexy, didn't she? It was very sexy to be raped. Didn't she say that? So, sir, I just want to confirm. It's your testimony that E. Jean Carroll said that she loved being sexually assaulted by you? Well, based on her interview with Anderson Cooper, I believe that's what took place. And you, we, can, we can define that. You'll have to show that. I'm sure you're going to show that. But she was interviewed by Anderson Cooper. And I think she said that rape was sexy, which it's not, by the way. But I think she said that rape was sexy, and it was. she actually said things that were very strange. And then she was a different person after the, when he said, we'll take a break right now. We're going to take a break right now. He didn't like what she was saying. He was very upset with what. And then she came back, and she was a much different woman the second, in the second half, so to speak. And so the question I'm asking you is, did she say in that interview that she loved being sexually assaulted by well, you? Well, she said something to that effect. I mean, you'll have to take a look at the interview yourself. Uh, I believe she said rape was sexy, to which Anderson Cooper is dying. He's saying, let's get to a commercial break immediately. I think you better watch the interview. I'm sure you have, but you better watch the interview. In the interview, when Ms. Carroll talked about rape being sexy, isn't it true that she said that's a view that many other people hold? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. All I know is I believe she said rape is sexy or something to that effect, but you'll have to watch the interview. It's been a while. And just to clarify, you, I think you said a few minutes earlier that you used the word swooned as a synonym for, you said the F word, for sexual intercourse? Yeah. Okay. That's because that's what she said. What do you mean? She never used the word swoon. No. She, used, she said that I did something to her that never took place. There was no anything. I know nothing about this nut job. Okay. Then you go on to say in the statement, and while I am not supposed to say it, I will. Why were you not supposed to say it? Because it's not politically correct to say, read the next, go ahead, that she's not my type. Yeah, because it's not politically correct to say it, and I know that, but I'll say it anyway. She's accusing me of rape. A woman that I have no idea who she is. It came out of the blue. She's accusing me of rape, of raping her. The worst thing you can do, the worst charge, and and you know it's you know it's not true too. You're a political operative, also. You're dis you're a disgrace. But she's accusing me, and so are you, of rape, and it never took place. And I will tell you, I made that statement, and I said, well, it's politically incorrect. She's not my type, and that's a hundred percent true. She's not my type. 